In Miami-Dade County schools also saw increased law enforcement due to the heightened concern. Tonight, Superintendent Alberto Carvalho is calling for action. CBS 4's Peter Dench joins us live from Doral with the very latest. And Peter, you spoke to the superintendent. Uh, he's still here. I know he's leaving for Los Angeles, but now he's got this problem to deal with. That's right, Ellie. In fact, Carvalho is calling for parents to actively monitor their children's social media accounts. He says that will protect them and other people. Now, security was stepped up in Miami-Dade schools amid this TikTok threat, and parents and students we spoke with were very outspoken. I think it's out of control, honestly, because, you know, kids are, social media is a big thing right now, so, and kids of this age, they believe everything they see, and it's just out of hand. A mother of two children, Paula Jimenez, is troubled by the TikTok video circulated nationwide threatening violence at schools. She says she monitors her children's social media activity. I have to be on top of everything because it's scary, you know. Ninth grader Susan Van Hool says she saw the TikTok video. And they're like, oh, so who's shooting up the school with me? She and her sister share these sentiments. What worries you? What concerns you? that it might happen, that a kid will actually listen to the threats on TikTok and there'll be a group of students. Does this worry you, these threats on TikTok threatening violence? It did. It did, yeah. It did worry me. I thought, like, I, I don't, because you don't know where it's going to happen and you don't know if it's real or not. Miami-Dade schools police have investigated more than 40 threats against schools this year. With the latest threat, school superintendent Alberto Carvalho urges parents to take action. Intensify, parents intensify conversations with children about responsibility, uh, particularly uh, over social media sites. Uh, kids have no right to privacy online. Carvalho adds, the companies that make literally millions and millions of dollars of profit need to assume greater levels of responsibility over the monitoring of their own sites and platforms. Despite the threat, Carvalho decided against canceling classes on this Friday. I think that uh, that is exactly uh, being held hostage to a threat that's actually encouraging uh, future behavior because you're caving into the insanity. So I don't think that that's a viable uh, course of action. Carvalho says other threats against Miami-Dade schools have been hoaxes, but he notes... We have to take every one of them very seriously. And if you know about a possible threat, call Miami-Dade schools at 305-995-COPS, at 305-995-COPS. Now, making a threat can have serious consequences. It is a second-degree felony, and if you are charged as an adult and convicted, it can mean a sentence of up to 15 years behind bars, and that is something to think about. We are live in Doral, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. Certainly is something to think about, Peter. Thank you for that live report. Miami-Dade schools police have made more than half a dozen arrests for threats against schools. Half of those incidents have taken place in the past few weeks. Yesterday, a 13-year-old girl was arrested for allegedly making social media threats against nearly a dozen schools in Miami-Dade. She was charged with 10 counts of making written threats to kill or do bodily harm.